What's up friends, this is Ben, and uh, today I wanted to show you a quick game I like to call Monster Ball. Um, this is a fun game that you can play to work on throwing skills, and um, sometimes we also play it around Christmas and call it the Abominable Snowball Fight. And uh, the whole point is the kids are on different teams, they're trying to uh, throw a ball that's a smaller like gator skin size ball at a large ball, so like an exercise ball or a kin ball, something like that, and get it to move across the other team's side. And you can play with two teams, or you can play with four teams. It just really depends on what's best for your gym and your setup. And I'm gonna show you a quick video of me explaining the game to the kids. And you can also download a game sheet on the blog. So I hope you guys can use this and have fun playing Monster Ball. All right, have a good one. Today we're gonna be playing some Christmas games. This is the last EU class before Christmas. The first game we're gonna be playing is called Monster Snowball Fight. And the way it works, the way it works is just like it works on the North Pole, Elves, when they are practicing their overhand throw, they always play a game called Monster Snowball Fight. As you can see in the middle, there is a monster snowball. That is what you're going to try to move to the other team's side. Okay? So when the game starts, you're going to hear me blow the whistle. As soon as I blow the whistle, you're going to start throwing a small snowball at the monster snowball. And when you throw the small snowball at the monster snowball, it's going to make it move. You're going to try to get it to move to the other team's side. You want it to go outside of the large white square. Okay, so the square that you're sitting on, if it leaves that square on your side, the other team will get one point. For example, if you were over here on the blue team, you're gonna be throwing the ball, you're gonna be trying to hit the monster snowball, it will move and move and move, and then they're gonna be throwing it, it's gonna move and move and move. And if it goes outside the large white square, I will blow the whistle. That is one point for the blue team because it went outside the white square on your side of the gym. However, if you got to move it over here and then it goes outside the white square on this side of the gym, that would be one point for the yellow team. Does everybody see how you score a point? Yeah. Okay. Now, there are a few rules you need to know in order to play the game correctly. Please listen to the rules because if you break a rule, you will have to sit down on the bench for that round until somebody scores a point. The first rule is you can go anywhere to get a ball. You can go anywhere to get a ball. But you have to go outside the square to throw it. So I, if I'm on the blue team, I can come all the way over here to this far corner to get a ball. But I have to come back to the outside of the white square to throw the ball. So I can come get a ball that's in the square, but can I throw it from right here? No. No, I have to come out of the square. So if I step in the square where I'm throwing the ball, did I follow the rules? No. No. That means I'm going to go sit on the penalty box for that round until somebody scores a point. You're trying to get the ball to go outside the square on the other team's side. You can go anywhere to get a ball, but you must be outside the square to throw the ball. Okay? You are not allowed to block, so you can't stand in front of the monster ball and block the other team's shots. And you are not allowed to touch the monster ball. If your body touches the monster ball, then it is an automatic point for the opposite team. So for example, if Jack touched the ball, that would be a point for the yellow team because he is on the opposite team. Make sense? Okay, does anybody have any questions about how you play? Okay, um, what you're about to do is when I say go, you're gonna go get two small snowballs. You're gonna stand on the line until I blow the whistle. When I blow the whistle, the game will start. When you hear me blow the whistle again, you need to stop, drop, and listen. That means you drop the ball and you listen, I'll tell you who scored a point. Everybody ready to get started? Yes! We're gonna play. Okay, please listen. Uh, first off, congratulations, yellow team. You're able to knock the ball out on the blue team side, which means you will receive one more point, which gives you two. Everybody say, nice job, yellow team. Nice job, yellow team. Okay, um, can anybody Raise your hand and give me some strategies for the game. Anybody raise your hand and give me some strategies for the game. Okay. Who's big and heavy ball? Okay, yeah, there are different size uh, balls, so you might want to pick a ball that is a heavier ball that might be able to make uh, the big ball roll faster. Okay, so that's a good idea. Matthew? Okay, yeah, the more people you can get to throw the ball at the same time, using that teamwork, you can get that ball to start moving very quickly. If I throw the ball by myself, am I going to get that ball to move very fast? No. No. So you might want to try to coordinate with a couple of people or have more than one ball in your hand 
So you can get some momentum. The more you hit the ball at the same time, the quicker you can get that ball to move. That's why at the very beginning, when all the um, snowballs are coming at the same time, the ball can move very quickly. What else? No? Um, don't stop. Like, um, don't stop. Just keep getting the ball. Just keep getting the ball. Yeah, don't stop moving. A lot of people, when they throw the ball, they just look. And they're waiting to see what happens. But as soon as you throw it, you need to move. Go get another ball as quick as you can. Go find a spot and throw it again. Okay? Adam? Um, make sure to check what, if you're in the, the, the white square or not. Okay, yeah, make sure to check before you throw so you don't have to um, get that 60 second penalty. All right, one more thing. When the ball's over here, it's about to go out, outside the white line. If I was on the blue team, I know that if the ball comes right here, the yellow team's gonna get a point, right? So everybody that's um, behind the, the line over there on that side, can anybody tell me where the best place to throw the ball from would be if the ball is right here? Where's the best place, Tyler? Side. Yeah, I want to get over here because it is going to be a lot closer, okay? The closer that you are, Skylar, please don't touch that ball while I'm talking. The closer that you are, the uh, better chance you have because it's going to be easier to hit the ball. If you're throwing it from way back there, that's a hard shot. And if you throw it, it might even go out on your own side. But if you throw it from right here, where's the ball going to go? It's going to go back this way. Okay, so be thinking about that. The direction that you throw from is going to determine where the ball goes. So be thinking about that when you're figuring out where you're going to throw from. Make sense? Okay, just like uh, we talked about, make sure you're moving around. You don't always have to throw from the same spot. Move around all around the white square. You can go anywhere you want around the whole square to throw the ball.